day works with all sorts of disabilities. Um, we have a wonderful team of volunteers and horses and we are able to work the magic of the horse um, with the riders and the horse does a lot of the magic and the riders, as you can see today, enjoy it so much. Yay, good girl. When I started, um, there was no power here. It was just two open sheds. We had to go and camp, basically, and boil the water with gas bottles and all those sorts of things. So um, I decided that it was time to get into the future, and um, it took us a long time to build the RDA shed, and a lot of money went into that that we had to raise to do that, and we're pretty proud of what we've got now. So it is hard work, always hard work, um, but the promotional side with um, Racing Victoria and Harness Racing helping us out along the way and lots of other nice people with donations and that because we're a not-for-profit organisation. Um, it's been great. Fiona runs an amazing program. So you get here and you're hanging out with other families and we're all here for the same reason. Straight to the But the reality is we have awesome children and we all want to see them thrive, we all want to see them be the best that they possibly can be, and they're really cool kids. So everybody here has the same goal. We have the same goal any parent has, have our kids be the best they can be. Yep. All righty, off we go. Off to the supermarket. The shopping session today is an everyday life thing. You have to go shopping. So you have to get up out of bed, you have to brush your teeth, get dressed, look in the mirror, do I look good? Then we go to the shops, pick out what we need at the, on the shelves, what aisle they're in. A lot of kids will remember what aisle the food are in. Put it in the shopping bag. And then we go to the cashier, pay there, and off we go with our bags of shopping yep. home. So there we go, in the till. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. So it's just an everyday life thing that they learn. It's a fun way of learning, and they get it really quickly. Where there are other children that have got physical disabilities, the movement of the horse actually makes them move their hips and builds the muscle in their core, enabling children that couldn't sit up to then be able to sit up when they couldn't do it before. We've had children coming that we have to lay on the horse to start with, um, and then by the end of the year or the following year, they're actually sitting up and riding the horse independently, which is superb. My name's Abby and I ride here at RDA Oaklands and I've been here for about 10 years riding here with the amazing team at RDA Oaklands. I've known Fiona ever since I was little. She's great company and she knows when you're not right. She will know something's up and she would fix it and then she'll just make you laugh at stuff and she'll laugh to herself or forget what she's doing. When I was little, it was more how to do things independently when I was really little. And then as I started, it was becoming more of a rider um, and doing everything properly. And then I started moving on to bigger horses and cantering and learning how to jump. So getting the right position so I can stand there and get my muscles all strengthened up. Here's your cup of tea. I'm going to carry my coffee and we're going to go for a walk. Come on, let's go. I've got a background in working with children with communication disorders. So I've really worked with this team to increase their ability to get the kids to communicate when they're out here. So I've got one child we've been working with for about 12 months who started like this and now sits up. He didn't talk six months ago. He was on a peg to be fed because he couldn't swallow. By increasing his core, he's now eating, he's now speaking in full sentences, he's now having a ball. We can't shut him up now. It's a lot of work and it's all dressed up as fun with a horse. So our daughter gets the opportunity to work on her core strength. We notice that her language is better, that she walks more easily. There are all kinds of benefits. Now what are you gonna do? You need to hop on your pony and sit. Hmm. The parents are here on Saturday mornings. I generally run school groups Monday and Tuesday. So it's nice to be able to meet and greet with the parents and they get to tell you what's going on in their lives. Assistance that the parents need sometimes is really important and just to be able to talk to you, that's all they want to do. Just to be able to have a chat sometimes if they've had a bad day or a bad night. Go, good girl. You got her? We usually use 
two coaches as well as the, the sidewalkers just to make sure that the kids get on safely because that can be really difficult. And I often ride and that helps with the kids because then they can see the position that we're trying to get them to, to get to. So they're really going to enjoy their games. They've got to love the horse, but through that you can get them to talk and listen and concentrate. Most of our riders are autistic um, and sometimes they just need a quiet ride depending on where they're at. So they'll start in the arena and do their activities or they'll just head out and have a nice quiet ride. They're under stress a lot of the times in our society because they have to listen to someone talking, they don't quite understand, they don't know how to react. Put them on a horse, the horse doesn't care what they don't listen to, they can just relate to them. And some of these autistic kids open up incredibly in an hour. Every centre in Victoria always has a waiting list. It's hard to get the riders through and the parents really want them to ride, so it's really hard to have to say, no, you can't ride and this one can ride. It, it's a big thing. If we could fund specific therapists to come in and help us, not necessarily to do it, but just like I came with expertise to help the volunteers learn, so to give that sort of education and knowledge so the volunteers can do more than they're doing now, I suppose, or be more knowledgeable in what they're doing. We could run seven days a week. There's that many kids that need us. We just need to get it, get the funding and get it going. And we're gonna get better and better. And more kids need to benefit from it because we can make such a difference. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, it's been nice for me to watch Abby grow as a rider and a young lady. Um, she's rode many horses over the years um, and being able to go to state championships now and national championships where we're heading and um, the shows um, that are closer to us, she'll be riding in those shows now. Just a super confident young lady. It's the whole package, isn't it? The whole package is Abby. I love it. <laughs> I've been doing it for all my life and it's the only sport really that I would do. Abby is wonderful. <laughs> Abby has so much talent that we're going to get Abby to the Paralympics. That's the aim for Abby. We're aiming here because we know she can get there. It's an amazing community. It's the community of the RDA volunteers uh, as well as the families. We love RDA and our family. So I'd say that RDA for us is a family affair. Good girl, well done. Uh, it's amazingly rewarding. Um, I wouldn't be doing it for this long as a volunteer for 16 years. It, it, every day is different. Every time they get on you, there's a different thing that comes up, whether they sit up, offer their first words, their moods change, everything is different. Just these few children that I've seen grow in just over a year, it's, I just couldn't see that as a speech therapist working in an office. I haven't seen that sort of improvement over such a short period of time. It's working with the children, seeing them develop, seeing them change, seeing the parents' faces is just priceless. And the volunteers as well. They get so excited, they come in each week and tell you about all the changes and what the children are doing that they didn't do last week and how they've developed. And it's just, the atmosphere's amazing. It's, it's the best. Well done, Anya. Beautiful ride today. I love the no hands, seriously. They may come here quite distressed, but once that horse walks off, they're a totally different child. And um, when the parents can see that, it's pretty amazing. And for us as coaches and volunteers, it just blows your mind sometimes, the difference that happens. <laughs>